Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Camille Chads. Uh, today we want to take you on a general view of our farm, not uh, a specific area as such, uh, but we want to understand how we have uh, laid out our farm plan so that uh, as you're also getting into farming, you can understand how to do layout. So uh, I would want to draw your attention first to our nursery. Our nursery is the first, the first part of our land. So in this uh, part, uh, we have uh, what we have uh, planted so that we can transfer now to the main farm. The upper part, we have those ones that we have planted from the agrovet. We are waiting for them to come out. The only ones that have come out because they do early germination is uh, watermelons. Mm, watermelon, yes. uh, we also have the grapes. The grapes, mm. we had grafted them. And uh, you can, as you can see, we have like uh, one, two... We have like uh, five of them which are uh, doing well. We had one that uh, some of the ants that are usually below the grounds, uh, they ate the roots from below. So those are some of the challenges you'll experience when you're doing your farming. As you've seen that one, it was eaten from below. We, we also, you also have to be visiting the agrovet so that you can find some chemicals to control such pests and uh, termites that will be affecting. We have uh, an apple which we are trying from the seed. As you can see, these ones are apples that are planted from the seed. This is ungrafted apples. So this, uh, we want to see how they will come out, how they will respond to the temperatures of the Western Kenya. Then from there, we can cross breed this uh, with the four types of apples that we showed you earlier on in our earlier videos. If you haven't watched, kindly visit the earlier videos. The other time I told you we are doing strawberry farming here. And uh, right now you can see we have already transplanted our strawberries. Now we have our strawberries well aligned. What they will do once they begin to, to multiply, they will now drop down on this soil here. You remember I told you don't have to do stone pitching. So when they start dropping out, uh, they will cover all this part. So as you'll have it as a cover plant, uh, and on top of that, you have your grapes that you can harvest from here. Then at the end of the day, with the support of the mangoes that are on this side, uh, then the soil that is loose here will have been retained. So you'll have used nature to control nature. So the next part, we want to show you how now our app. So uh, here, the last time we were taking the video, you had seen we had a lot of weeds in this place. The problem of weeds, they eat up the food that is supposed to be nutrition for the plants. So as you were seeing, our, our beans were not doing so well because of uh, too much weeds. So you have to be doing continuous weeding at least twice in a week. Anything that comes out, you remove. So as you can see now, our beans are looking so healthy. And inside the beans, we have our apples. There's something about the apples I forgot to say last time. As you can see, our apples are, how many meters is this? Two foot, two foot. Yes, these are two feet below the ground. Remember, you need these apples huh, to have firm support from the lower part of it. So that as they grow up, they become anchored to the soil. So you cannot plant it on the normal soil. You have to it can go up to that years. Eh? Yes. So explaining we had dug down two feet. 